When people think of the word Christian, when they think of you guys, when they think of us, what enters their mind? Because the world has ideas about Christian, and many times they don't really represent us. But we have misrepresented Christ. So when they think of the word Christian, they probably think of what? You don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't do certain things, but what should we be known for? We often time don't realize how important it is to have discipline in doing what God said again and again. We want to do big things, having big faith. We want to have big church. We want to have big dreams, achieve big things from God without developing our faith first. It is just impossible. If you want to know what it looks like to follow Jesus, we follow a Jesus who left the most exclusive gated community in the universe, who knew what it meant and modeled what it meant to move out of our comfort zone. What I find fascinating is that Jesus did not come to earth in the way that I would have come to earth. Jesus did not come to earth as a president or a king. He did not come to earth as a powerful CEO. In fact, Jesus came to earth as one of the most vulnerable people you could possibly imagine. We believe that there's nothing, nothing, nothing that we do that we can fulfill in the right way apart from being empowered by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is your answer to these. The Holy Spirit is not your accuser, He's your counselor. That word is the word parakletos, the Greek word for counselor, for advocate, for lawyer. He's the one that if you were discerning enough and quiet enough in your spirit to take little steps daily to hear him remind you your sins have been paid for in Jesus Christ. And if you really think about it, the biggest churches, the most influential churches, the churches that are growing so that they can hardly contain them in their buildings are churches that have all those things. They are evangelical. They're missions minded. They give place to the Holy Spirit. Jesus is central. They're small group churches. They're churches that have vibrant ministry. But I believe that God is restoring one thing to the church, one more thing to the church right now, and that's an understanding of our holistic ministry as a servant church to the community. And I wanna to say to you that I passionately believe that the churches that are gonna change their world are churches that have all of those components. And the component that God is bringing back right now is the understanding of holistic servanthood ministry. The same way the Church of God is called by Him to build bridges in some of those impossible places of the world. And the strongest bridges are the ones that take generations to build. But will we be able to work together long enough to build something permanent? to build something lasting, to build something that doesn't just start off well and then fall apart in the next generation, but something that actually gets stronger and stronger and more powerful and more rooted and more capacity, able to carry more people through to life. That works when the generations can learn to work together.
morning, everyone. Welcome to LEAD 2018. Are we excited to be here? In discipleship and leadership, the two must come together. Discipleship without leadership has no traction. Leadership without discipleship has no vision. If you lead without discipleship as a core mission of the church, you have lost your vision as to what's really congruently important to the church. But if you have discipleship in your heart, but you don't have this leadership in your church, he has no traction, he can't move. So discipleship without leadership has no traction. Leadership without discipleship has no vision. We need to marry the two together. Today, the world is hearing so many noises and sounds because we are all too interested in playing our own and looking to our own. If we can all take our, our, our eyes of ourselves, our brand, our denomination, even our churches, and put our eyes on Jesus Christ, the world will hear a beautiful music coming out. We need this kind of leader, whether men or women. We need a man or woman leader who is so compelling and so broken truly great in his posture, in his position. 